Very good morning everybody. It's Sunday now, the 30th of June 2019. Thank you awfully for joining me for my video this morning. This video will show up-to-date progress at the Premier Inn and the Sands Resort Hotel. After we have visited these two sites we will return here to then proceed down that nice little road that leads to Abingdon Street. There's quite a lot going on there, so I really want to I really want to cover that again. So we'll do the first two first and then return here after. I now return you to Thursday. Very good morning everybody and welcome to a very sunny, bright Thursday morning the 27th of June 2019 and yes we are again today at the site of the Premier Inn and in front is that Jarcon pump and today will be the last day of the concrete laying on the ground floor the pavement level and so lucky again today, here is the arrival of a tarmac lorry containing that concrete. And it's just been actually guided to join the pump. The tarmac lorry has now joined in a connection with the pump. We're right by now the tarmac lorry and you can see the pump just needing to go at pavement level into the ground floor of this Premier Inn. Yes, after today, all the, all the flooring at this site will be done. That's the five storeys and the ground floor at pavement level. All nicely done. So I think we'll have a, a quick review of what's happening here and what has happened at the rear of the site of this Premier Inn. Today is the 27th of June 2019 and what we have here is we have all the bathroom pods safely placed and we now have all the floors every floor all finished with concrete and also of course all the framework finished with a good part of all this panelling already taken place so a very very another milestone of this build on this very very sunny morning at Blackpool I do hope that you have enjoyed this visit and now I really must press on with today's work which I have to do for my videos. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Bye bye. Hello everybody. It's Saturday afternoon now, the 29th of June 2019 and today is the first day of school holidays for the for the children of Scotland. Now what this means is Blackpool now is overrun 
with lovely families who visit this resort yearly. The place already is packed, absolutely packed. So, I'm, so it will be extra hard now to show anything, but, but I will do my best. Absolutely packed the seafront, especially with this freakish weather that is all over the country at the moment. Now this is, as you know, the front of the Sands Venue Resort Hotel. A lot going on here, especially at the side. I'm now going to walk you over there to visit our usual advantage area of viewing. Here we are at our usual viewing area to the side of this hotel. First of all, there has been a lot of concrete laid here and also present is this tower crane. And to the left, there is framework, steel framework. It is a weekend. This is for the extension. Progress now quite visible here in a big way. And, they sent me a thing me and now our usual view from the rear to the front. We are now at the second of two sides at this Sands Venue Resort Hotel. And you can see very, very good progress here as well at ground level. and a full view of the side, the second side of this hotel. And this view will complete our visit today, Saturday, the 29th of June, 2019, to this Sands Venue Resort Hotel. What I'm going to do now is we're just going to turn this corner now and make our way to this road just across just across here that will take us down to Abingdon Street. Now this road was covered a couple of videos ago because it is due to be closed any day now to all traffic. I would just like to take you down there to show you other progress that is taking place down this road. Here we are. There's the very well-known public house of the Washington across the road. And this is the road that I was referring to. It takes you right the way down to Abingdon Street. <laughs> Over the last previous week, what's happened is, not only is this road receiving a new covering and also the pavements, what's happening is, scaffold has been placed in large areas right down this road and I'm told this is for improvements to the front of the shops. This has only happened from last week so what's going to happen is that the next three months this road will receive a new covering and also it looks like all the shops or most of the shops 
are going to have new frontage and also down here there is seating planned and also some plants I'm told and another area we're coming to which has received scaffolding as said in my previous video this road is due to close tomorrow as it happens for three months to all traffic however with certain things taking place along Talbot Road just minor things it may be one or two weeks late but there's no time schedule really is there when something's planned and anything like this is, is involved it's understandable that something is is late there's the scaffolding there for this area and in front you see Abingdon Street I'm just going to turn around now just in case people have not seen the video that pertain to this area now right in front now there's a road that bears to the right which oh yes there's a sign up there this is Edward Street now after the work has been finished where we've just come from this road will be closed for three months to receive new surface along the road and I believe the pavements as well and this takes us to a place called Cedar Drive I believe all this going to be done so very basically as said in my last video but I'm showing this again in case people have missed it these two roads that we've walked down they're scheduled to be closed from July the 1st right through until a couple of weeks previous to Christmas yes just under six months this job yes just under the six months period time goes so quickly it really really does today signals the end of the first six months of this year it's just gone like that incredible roads closed to all traffic in the very very near future right through until a couple of weeks this side of Christmas and a view now of where we have just come from along this Edward Street and if I if I go up in actual fact this is called Cedar Square where the works will finish it is also from here outside the Cedar Tavern that I would like to thank everybody for watching this video and I'm going to close this video up now from here and I'm going to go home and upload it to YouTube thank you awfully for watching and everybody's support with these videos and I really hope that I brought everybody up to date at the Premier Inn and the Sands Venue Resort Hotel and the impending closure of these two streets here. Thank you ever so much to everybody and have a lovely day. Bye bye.